early morning. It's uh, 707, about on the 17th of August. It's a Saturday, third Saturday in August. So, breakfast at the Stoneville Club this morning. Not gonna get to see that vehicle. Let's go, bud. <clears throat> So it's chilling the air this morning, 56 degrees. Uh, oh boy. So the sun rises at 5.36. Sun sets at 7.35. So what's that? 13 hours. 59 minutes of sun. <clears throat> the uh, motion alerts were going crazy at midnight. And uh, somehow they're identifying incorrectly. Everything's saying uh, driveway. So I have to pull them all in and reprogram them. Let me know which one's actually going off. I had to get up and unplug it because it was going off every second. Now, yesterday I did put solar panels on the uh, other two cellular cameras. And I noticed that uh, the one I put southwest of the house sent one picture at uh, midnight. So, is that, uh, was that the event? I don't know. It should have sent three pictures. Well, I sent one. And the uh, Northworth camera sent 11 pictures of nothing. I forgot to look at the time on that. These are uh, Silk Command Fusion cameras. And uh, I had to put them out. I put the Northwest one out without the battery pack. And I didn't know that was part of the problem. So I put out lithium batteries in it yesterday and uh, it, it didn't like them. I kept uh, flashing red until uh, I did it several times and finally booted up properly. But when I went back to look at the app, it said there were no batteries, the batteries were dead. So I went back and swapped them out for alkalines, booted it properly, and shows it's got batteries. Now the weird thing is the West camera the batteries were almost dead. I put a solar panel on that. And now the uh, batteries show they're in green. Not fully charged, maybe, maybe 15%.
even went to town yesterday. I was out of beer. And, uh, we picked up some other stuff. I don't know what it was. Also, I had to get some ethanol for gas. 15 gallons of ethanol for gas. <coughs> I think that was 60, 60 some hard dollars. And uh, the diesel was low. Just short of 20 gallons. That was 82 bucks. has to take care of business this morning. He didn't do it last night. We walked up just into here. And then he took me down the West Trail, the North Driveway, and then the West Trail. And I, I think he was just sightseeing. <clears throat> We picked up the, uh, the newspaper, the Lincoln News, and the uh, first thing we look at is garage sales. It's right in town, and there were two on Arab Road in uh, the. One of them had uh, rototillers, two of them, but. Uh, Neither one of them ran. I didn't need another project. It was strange because one of them had a Honda engine. A little four-stroke Honda engine. And uh, yeah, I was honest. He said uh, he had it running. He actually uh, he bought it. It was not running. We paid a mechanic to get it running. And then the next time we tried to start it, he had it running. But the next time we tried to start it, oil started coming out of the carburetor. So I tried pulling it over the, uh, the pull cord, but only he could get one revolution of the engine. I figured yeah, at least two, uh, two revolutions. So I don't know whether the pull cord had been broken. It was too short. But again, I didn't need another project. The other one was older. Belt driven. Rototiller. And uh, the pull cord was not ripped out, but it was fully extended. I don't know what the recall was broken, but the cord was on the ground, so I passed. And the other, uh, <coughs> other garage sale was all the way up. Arab Road, they call it Arab, not Arab, and uh, the only thing interesting there was uh, a mini refrigerator, <coughs> 35 bucks, but I don't need to, another thing for an up the electric bill, it'd be nice to have a beer fridge out in the barn, but I don't drink beer until 5 o'clock in the evening anyway. The 
breeze blowing from the heat I left. Northwest. And uh, <clears throat> driving that far up a rab road, there's a uh, maple sugar shack that uh, I don't know whether the previous owner died or sold or what. It looked like it was in this disrepair. <clears throat> We had been there years ago. What's interesting about that one is the uh, they have the uh, text lines. I didn't notice that the gate was open. The Pex lines feeding from the, uh, the west side of Arab Road over to the east side. <coughs> They're up probably 16, 20 feet in the air across the road. Sure. Come on. Get out of there. Come on, you're out of water. <coughs> and uh, I didn't know that Arab Road intersects with or actually changes into Half Township Road. Half Township Road. And I'd always wanted to uh, take a run up there, <clears throat> but thanks to Google, Google Earth, I was able to uh, just navigate <clears throat> to where the uh, second garage I was to see that it changes from Arab to uh, Half Township. And then fall uh, all the way down to like him, where it intersects with six. Didn't make it to practice. <clears throat> Hi, bud. <clears throat> Come on. Flynn, Flynn, want to go for a ride the truck? Want to go for a ride the truck? <clears throat> yeah, it's cool enough. Want to go for a ride the truck? Truck, let's go. Come on.
see Will just going for a run in the truck. So while we were on Arab Road, we saw Sleeping Bear Campgrounds it was uh, closed for a private event. Somebody's having a wedding there today, and their guests are coming in from wherever. They hooked up the whole campground. <coughs> Also, we got to see uh, uh, Bill Green, Bill Green Pond Road. Let's go, bud. Come on, ride in the truck. Ride in the truck. Let's go. Yeah, I see the gates open. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I had seen some property for sale by Bill Green Pond. I didn't know what it was. No, I do. But the property is kind of anyway. Come on, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Cheryl had posted on the uh, Snowbell Club's Facebook page an invitation to Lee alumni. So I don't know whether there's some sort of reunion. <coughs> she told them to uh, come on down to breakfast. So I don't know whether there's going to be a bigger crowd today. <clears throat> On a different note, my daughter and son-in-law had been out in South Dakota for a vacation. They left their kids with uh, my son-in-law's parents. I don't know how many national parks they've been to, but I think they knocked off two more. <clears throat> Or uh, Mount Rushmore, and uh, <clears throat> that mountain, Devil's Peak, or something that was in close encounters of the third time. 
<coughs> so that it's so Sturgis. Yeah, I'll get it for the last day of Sturgis. <coughs> But, uh, they were flying back to, uh, their connecting flight was going to North Carolina. And they were advised that the flight was delayed, that they could come later. We got to the airport to find out that actually left early. <coughs> So, to compensate for screwing them up, the uh, airline gave them first class seats on a flight going to Chicago. And then from Chicago, they flew from there to, to Newark. <sighs> All right. <coughs> They said chance of rain Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we didn't get any rain. I think they said a chance of rain again today. inch snake lying on the gravel by the front steps yesterday. <clears throat> I got close to it and it slithered, slithered, slithered away. here. Just a garden snake. Alright, well that wraps it up. Get him ready for breakfast. Thanks for watching.